Hey everyone, so here today I am going to be doing a review on this absolutely precious, beautiful children's Bible. Um, this is, this is the New King James translation. This is New King James study Bible for kids and it is just absolutely precious. Um, here you can see some of what it has in there. It has the full text of the in New King James pattern, patterned edge, a patterned page edges, full color study helps, um, plan of salvation, large, easy, easy to read type. And then in case you are interested, here is the ISBN number and um, it does retail for $29.99. But you can definitely get it uh, for less than that. And then here it has, um, of course, a 40, 40, 40 full page, full color pages with study helps and maps, which is so awesome. Plan of Salvation, the large uh, type, which is awesome, awesome. Bible dictionary for kids, Bible skills checklist. Um, summaries for all Bible divisions and presentation page. This Bible is so awesome and it has so much in it. And here's some samples of what is actually inside. I have not, I mean, I just glam, glanced at this Bible. I have not actually really spent a whole lot of time looking at it, but it is, from what I've seen, it is absolutely precious. Now, um, this is the Bible. Uh, this is the Bible that they had us have. Uh, send to me this is a new resend i guess you could say um this is one of the bibles being given away um in the bible drawing for children so um but they had to send another one because it was <laughs> engraved so as you can see it this one is not engraved although i must say they did a beautiful job <laughs> um but that's a whole different story um but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And here we ha have the spine. And it just basically, it wraps it around. And I love that. That is so awesome. And it wraps around. And that is so cute. This is what I love right here. It Look at that. Isn't that precious? And of course, one ribbon marker. And then here at the side, we have Faith. This is just too precious. And then, of course, we have a bright pink head and tail band. And then you open it up, and it's like a, the camera is not picking it up, but you open it up. It's like a hot pink. It is super, super awesome. It is a paste down liner. And then here we go. Right, right, is that the first one? Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, I was going to say, wow. Okay, so here we have the presentation page. That's actually what I was looking for. Here's the presentation page. And then we have Psalm 146, 5 to 6. And then how can the Bible help you? And it gives you different topics that you can go um you can look up on and where to find it in scripture. I know, I don't know if the yellow is actually showing up very well, but that is so cool. There's so much in this Bible. I do know that. And that is so awesome. And then studying your Bible. And you can just pause it if you want and just pause and read. And that is, this is so cool. Um, I love the way they do the Bible, the children's Bibles. I really, really do. And then here we have, um, actually, this seems to be a lot like the other um, Bible that I did a uh, review on, the uh, um, Narwhal Bible, the Oceans Bible. So this is really cool. Um, here's Bible skills. We have the um, level one skills. And then, like I said, you can just pause the video and check it out. And then level two skills and level two skills continue here. And then here we have level three skills. And this is, this is so cool. I just love the way they did this and the colors are amazing. 
Um, how else are you going to get a child's attention? And especially, you know, girls, we love it, love colors. Uh, we women do too. We love colors. We love sparkly things. Um, and then here's the test, the same test. Basically, this is the same thing. And that other Bible I did a review on, it just, the other Bible looks completely different. And then here we have the answers upside down at the bottom here. So that is super cool. And then um, favorite Bible stories. Oops, here we go. There we go. And that is so cool. And then down at the bottom, you can write your own. And of course, if you want to, you can grab a journal or something and add more to it. And then here we have, how do you have quiet time with God? So it gives you um, gives you some ideas and uh, of what you can do and stuff. And that is totally cool too, because I mean, I think even, even we adults, we need to know, you know, things that we can do to have more quiet time with, um, with our heavenly father, because life can get chaotic. <laughs> That's definitely for sure. And then here is the copyright page. And then here's other ISBN numbers. And that is so, so cool. And then here we have the contents. As you can see here, I mean, I have not, <laughs> I have not gone through this Bible. It's still sticking. <laughs> it's literally still sticking. <laughs> there we go. And then we have the preface. Um, and then we have God's plan for salvation. <laughs> and then here we have the New Testament. <laughs> and then... Here we are. We are getting right straight to it. Um, and this is, um, I don't know. I know some people get really picky with how they do um, the days. Um, they like it more, I guess, um, broken up. Like um, they like it to be more out and then the paragraph be more in. Um, like the start, the starting of the paragraph be more out. Um, basically opposite of what you see here in the paragraph be more indented. Um, but it's still broken up here. Um, to me, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I can kind of understand, understand what they're talking about, but me personally, it doesn't really matter. Um, and as you can see there, the type font is really pretty awesome. Um, I don't know right offhand what the type font is, but it looks to be about a, about a 10, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd guess about a 10. I mean, the font is awesome. It is absolutely, it is, it's awesome. It's amazing. And then here we have the books of the law. Whoops, books of the law. So this is awesome too. So it breaks it up. It gives you a brief summary of, of them overall and then individually. And I think that is so cool. Like I said, this is, I mean, this literally has so much in it, so much in it that um, it basically is a carbon copy. Here's the creation carbon copy of the other Bible review I did. It's just um, designed differently. Then here is the family of Abraham. Now this, this is done a little bit differently. It looks like if memory serves me right. Um, but it is still an all around beautiful Bible. It is so awesome. And any little girl would be very, very blessed to have this Bible. And then here we have the names of God and it lists them all. Of course, the difference between this Bible and the other Bible, aside from the obvious with the design and stuff, and that is, um, this is a New King James translation, and the other was a Christian Standard. Um, so I guess it would be your preference of um, which you would prefer. Um, but like I said, I've already done a review on that Bible, so if you're interested in it, uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, that was just a few videos ago. And then we have the 10 plagues here. And that is, that is so awesome. That's awesome as well. I might as well just kind of try to hold it up here. 
and then the Ten Commandments. And then here we have the books of the Old Testament history. And that's pretty cool. Gives you a little background on it. And then, of course, the beautiful map. Like I said, this is so similar to the other one. I'm not going to show each and every one that they have in here. Um... But it is, is such a beautiful, beautiful Bible. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've actually missed one yet. Um, books of the Poetry. And then here we have Psalm, Psalms for All Times. And I think this is super cool, too. Love, love, love it. This is an adorable Bible. It truly is. I mean, my personal favorite is the Oceans one. That's only because I think dolphins are pretty. And I don't know. I just like the design better. That's just my opinion. Um, yes, I'm an adult. <laughs> but I just think it's, I just, me personally, I think it's pretty. But you know what? Um... It's really not my opinion that matters. It's the young girl that would be receiving this, um, the Bible. That's what matters. Um, which Bible will get her uh, more into God's word? Which one would she be happy with? Which one would she feel more um, close with? That is the question. That's the question. So we're getting, here we are to the New Testament. i got to break the pages up yet again. <laughs> okay, here we are at the New Testament. Now, just so y'all know, it is definitely a red letter, a red letter Bible. And I think that's so worth it. That's makes it that makes it even more worth it. Um, it's beautiful too. Um, the camera is actually picking that up. It's beautiful. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, then here we have the books of the Gospels and New Testament history here. I guess it is so identical. It is it is identical to the other one I did. It's just a new. Um, new look, new design, um, or different design, different look, different translation. They're both beautiful Bibles. They really are, though. And then here's, and this is what I really like right here. Kids in the Bible. Because they weren't always, they weren't, you know, automatic adults. <laughs> so it did talk about their childhood at one point. Um, in the stories, and I love that. I love that they have that in there. Um, and then names of Jesus. This is another thing I love um, about it is how it has um, the name of God, the names of God, and the names of Jesus. And of course, as you can see up there, they have the name, the reference, the meaning, and um, uh, the name. Okay, that's weird that they've got it like that. That seems Savior, Savior. I think it's just meaning like name, other name that is known for. It's it's the same thing. I think that's what they're trying to say. But if you are interested in this Bible, I will be leaving the link down below. Here's the Apostles of Jesus. I will be leaving the link down below um, in the description box. So just um, go ahead and click that arrow 
and it'll drop down and you will see the link and click on the link and um, it take you straight to um, straight to it to be able to purchase it. This is really a beautiful Bible. Um, I think it's awesome. I, I like I said before um, the books uh, the books of Paul's letters. Um, I think it's so awesome what they are doing with the children's Bibles. Um, they are really being very much in tune when they are doing the. Uh, creating these Bibles for the children, and that is so important. And here's a beautiful map. That is so, so important. My children are grown, but... My children are grown, but it's, I know how important it is, though. I do. It is so, so important. If you're going to get children interested, it's one thing I know from from um, being a mother. If you're going to get children interested, um, this is another thing I love. Get children interested in um, anything, then you need to make it eye-catching. Just like with us adults, it needs to be eye-catching. It needs to, it needs to be something uh, to get us interested in it, to pull us into it. Um, and then, of course, the red letter. As you can see, the red letter goes all the way in. All the way to the book of Revelations, uh, Revelation. So I absolutely love that. Um, okay, don't rip it. <laughs> that gets me it gets it gets me a little bit worried sometimes because I don't want to rip the pages. Okay. Okay, here we go. So here we go to the, um, with the concordance. The concordance are, uh, it's a three column concordance. And as you can see there, it's, it's really pretty legible. Um, so that is awesome. The print they have in this is so, so good. It's so good. And then of course, here we are at the back and we have so many, we have several, several, um, Oops, it's not picking it up. We have several maps back here. We have the route of the Exodus and then travels of Jacob and Joseph, uh, Joseph. And I love that they label it like this. So that is super, super cool. I think they should label, label it like this for the adult Bibles. <laughs> Make it a little bit easier. <laughs> I think some of them kind of do and some of them kind of don't. <laughs> and then here we are at the back. But as you can see, it is an, um, it is a beautiful Bible. It's absolutely precious. And as I said before, um, this is one of the Bibles that's being given away for free. Um, and if you don't know, if you're just now watching um, my Bible, uh, my Bible, my videos, first of all, welcome and thank you so much. Um, second of all, and just, uh, scroll down just a little bit on my videos and you will see like the first children's Bible, um, uh, giveaway, um, which Bibles are given away and, and all that good stuff. I can't remember word for word what I titled it, but, um, check it out, see what's going on. Um, and it's going to get very, very interesting. Um, but I do have, um, there are six children's Bibles, and um, I will be giving away two Bibles um, per month. And um, the first two are in the process um, of being, um, the first two are in the give, uh, first giveaway. So um, if you are interested in them, just make sure um, you watch that video and you get your name in the drawing. And I go in detail of it as well. Um, I can go ahead and leave that video down in the description box if you would like. Um, I'll just go ahead and do it. And like I said, I'll be leaving the um, uh, link to purchase this Bible as well down in the description box. And um, I am actually waiting on getting the other um, other Bible sent to me. I should be getting that early next week, and I will be doing a review on that one as well. That's the last one um, to do a review on. 
So um, please stay tuned. If you have not yet, please make sure you um, like, share, comment, and subscribe and click that little bell icon because um, that way you get notified every time I upload a vid uh, video. And if you are interested in the two first two Bibles that are being given away, which is one boy and one girl uh, Bible, um, make sure your name is in the drawing before July 1st, before July 1st, because that is when I'll be doing the drawing. Um, so it's getting exciting. I am super, super excited. Um, yeah, so... Um, As always, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch a little on me. I know you don't have to, but you see my mug, you see the Bibles, you see my fingers. And I much, much, much appreciate it. Um, as always, pray, 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 pray about everything. Pray before purchasing any new Bibles, um, before purchasing anything. Um, pray, pray about everything I say as well. Um, and until next time, much love. God bless.